Yo, yo, yo. Hey, YouTube. It's your girl, Jay. So I'm stopping by today because I want to share um, a moment of transparency, like totally opening up. And I'm in me opening up. I hope that it can help someone else. So we're going to talk about troubleshooting the issues of life. Um, troubleshooting um, the differences in people that you have to be a part of in life. Let's talk about that. So, you know how, you know, I always talk about the uniqueness of who we are and how, you know, if we're not, you know, the uniqueness of who we are, if if that thing is positive, um, it's not offensive, and it's um, to lift people up and to be positive in other people's lives, that's something that we need to embrace, right? So I just feel like um, that's a good thing. But, you know, you have some people who are just not not so nice and then you have some people who are very um stuck you have some people who are very negative you have some people who are well this is me and this is what i do and here we are and and deal with it so my thing is like if you're stuck in that you're not open to change and you're not open to um, helping others you know sometimes we have to be very liquid in who we are um if our purpose is to have successful relationships and to be a help to those here in the earth realm right right um also today talking troubleshooting um things that just come your way in life like how do we work through this thing like how do we um have the victory over uh, our circumstances um, and things that are thrown at us. So that's where we are today, right? So I'm going to um, be very transparent today. Um, I have been on this quest, on this journey um, of peace. Y'all know I'm always talking about peace and protecting my peace. And if you are a hindrance to my peace then you gotta go you gotta go in god's love but you still got to go all right okay you still got to go um protecting my peace having a strong um sense of perspective having a godly sense of thinking um positive thinking like that's just been my quest that's been my thing that's my thing that brings me peace and just helps me um be happy like i want to be that person who wakes up and like oh god you know i'm good today what can i do to help you pay it forward Let's give some encouragement. Let's be this. Let's bless people with a smile or just a, a kind word. Because you just never know what people are going through, right? You never know what people need, you know? And I'm just, I've always just kind of wanted to be that person to be an inspiration. You know, that's my thing. I like to, I want to leave a legacy of if God takes me out of here, you knew Jay for the things that she did. You knew Jay for her smile. You knew her for her encouragement and um, just to leave a legacy, you know, a positive legacy. Nothing of, of burden or, or, or anything, you know. People before, um, some people, I've heard, I've read this thing time and time again, so before people read the Bible, they're going to read your life. So what are you showing others? Um, can people be blessed by your life? Um, because, you know, no matter what has been done, people will never, um, mm -hmm. people will never forget the way that you've made them feel. Mama Angelo, uh, Angelo again, she done told us that no matter what goes down, people will never remember, uh, never forget how you make them feel. So that's my quest, right? So I'm very cognizant of um, 
my thoughts and my feelings and my perspective and you know I'm I'm staying uh, in God's word constantly just not just on Sundays I listen to it all the time um, and I feel like it brings me peace and it's and it, it levels me it centers me um, just to keep me constantly in the thought of what I'm supposed to be um, so yeah troubleshooting the, 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 the things in life you know Man, sometimes it's so funny how I'll write out a plan for something and I'm like, oh, once I do this, and then it'll be this. And then we go here and then this is just a pattern. This is the pattern of how it's going to go. God be like, no child. Mm -mm. He be like this. Oh, oh, okay. You're going to still get there, but you're going to have to go through some things because going through things builds character. And it, and it and it and it it gains your wisdom. It allows you to say, "Oh, I remember when I went through this, so I'm not gonna, I'm not going to, I can avoid that pitfall this time because I've already experienced it." You know, my mom always says, "Girl, pass the test the first time." So yeah, when we're going, when we're troubleshooting the things of life, I believe, you know, I always talk about casting your care on God. And if you look in the Bible, it says cast your care and it's singular. Why? Because every time something comes up, we have to cast it over. We need to cast it to God, you know. I need you to handle this. I need you to give me direction. I need you to give me wisdom as to how to handle it. You know, we're, we are human. We are um, not perfect. And sometimes we fail. I failed Friday. So I have this trying thing, you know. Um, when in my church we do this, we 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 worship and we praise and we do this war cry and we decree and declare about those stubborn things, the stubborn things, you know, the things that just won't move, like just been there, like ain't no change ain't no change ain't no you it's getting worse the more and more you pray the worse it get those stubborn things right so friday i was confronted with a stubborn thing and some days when i'm confronted with the stubborn thing i'm strong like i'm the bigger person i know what to do in order to not um satisfy this stubborn stubborn thing um but friday I didn't, I couldn't. Let me tell you why. There are some people um, that don't know Christ. And there are some people who will never know Christ. Um, and they don't have a desire to. Um, and it's over for what our apostle used to say, a reprobate mind. Like, you don't come back from that thing. Like, your mind is made up. It's what it is. And that's that. So that was my stubborn thing, okay? My stubborn thing hit me on Friday. And I, you know, Jay's come a long way, child. A long way, honey. But it's a thin line. Because I love Jesus. <sighs> but don't try me. Try God, don't try me. And sometimes you just fed up. And sometimes you just sick of the enemy. And sometimes you have to stand in who you are. And what, see, here's the thing. When you know who you are and whose you are and what God has called you to do, you just ain't going to settle for just any old thing. You know what I mean? Like, you ain't fit enough to treat me and disrespect. You ain't disrespecting me. I protect me. I protect my peace. I protect my family. And that just, you know, was one of them. Oh, girl, we're going to call it a fed up Friday. Ooh. Girl, it was a fed up Friday down to the house um, last Friday. And my husband just be like, oh, I love you. And it wasn't a husband because he's great. Like, he's a, he's a great support. But sometimes, you know, when that stubborn thing comes, you know, it's just between you, the stubborn thing, and God. And that's what it was, child. It was a fed up Friday last week. And it was, um, tr I'm troubleshooting that thing. What's the day? Wednesday? And I'm still troubleshooting from the fed up Friday.
You see how God give you stuff? Child, this was a fed up Friday. And I just wasn't having it. You feel me? I just wasn't having it. And I wasn't taking it. And the enemy was going, 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 going to have several seats on Friday. But after Friday was over and my head stopped spinning and um, I was able to see clear again because all I saw was red on for fed up Friday. Um. I just had to go to God and be like, listen, this is a stubborn thing. I am sick and tired of dealing with this. You ever had a thing that you just sick and tired of dealing with? Time after time after time. All right, God, look, I done submitted to you. I want to be the light, but this stubborn thing is always in the way. And I'm fed up and I'm sick of it. That was me. That was me on Friday. So I went to God and I'm like, dude, homie, like, help me get through this. Like, give me some wisdom um, to deal with this. Because, you know, you can't change other people. You got to change yourself. So help me change so my hair won't spin when a stubborn thing comes around or if I'm confronted with the stubborn thing. Help me, God, to troubleshoot the things of life and troubleshoot stubborn people without losing my peace. Oh, I just said that and I just thought it through. That's my prayer. Um, and I know that the whole troubleshooting thing, um, so I just, this is how I'm dealing with it at this time. I just ask God for guidance. Like, give God, give me your guidance. Give me your wisdom to deal with this. Obviously, this thing or this person is not of you. Obviously. So since I am of you, mm -hmm. teach me. I'm open. Because the peace has to remain always the peace has to remain always and so whatever I need to do to maintain that peace teach me to not be influenced by the stubborn things that won't move or change but you know it's it's, it's just that thing you know we are the light and we are of Christ but we're also human so <laughs> so we we are of the light we are of Christ and we're human but you know it's a thing you know I'm a mother and I'm a wife and you ain't fitting across my threshold and just be whatever you want I'm a protector my husband is an amazing support and an amazing protector he's the head of our home hey but Ma can get down too so what you not finna do is cross mama because mama is 87,000 times more crazier than papa. And that's where I was with Fed Up Friday. So we got to figure this thing out, right? We got to figure out how to troubleshoot the things in life and troubleshoot the people that cross our path that just don't have no, no plans in being positive or cordial or grown-ups or godly um and so the only the, where I am right now and I and I expect God for to, to do some things and deliver me from some things um but right now here today I am just my my answer is to just cast the care to God and then just have faith that he um that God would just you know, we cast the care to God. We, you know, totally just rely on Him to resolve the issue, mm -hmm. right? Resolve the issue mm -hmm. and make us um, mm -hmm. a blessing to Him so that we can be His light and bring Him glory in all things. Our reactions, our words, our behavior, you know? So, we, how to resolve the trouble uh, and troubleshoot the things in life we got to give it to God if we don't have the wisdom to deal with it and that's where we are troubleshooting on Wednesday 
the stuff from Friday. And it may take some time. You know, a lot of things I still don't have answers for. But I know my remedy to getting there is to seek God. We got to seek him in all things. Because cause if it was for me, oh, I don't know, child. If I put me in it, I'm going to make it worse. Learned that too last year. If I put me in it, I'm going to make it worse. So some, you just got to relinquish it and be like, let me tell you something. This stubborn thing right here, I ain't for it. God, so I need you to handle it. So, I hope that was like my transparent moment was something that you can carry with you and I hope that it just resonates on your heart and your mind just to remember that you know when we don't have the answers and we don't have the wisdom or guidance that we can cast our care to God that's me that's my story for the week y'all pray for me though because listen I've been del- I've been delivered from a lot of things, and there's a lot of things that God is still working on. It's a thin line, honey. You know, because back in the day, I used to slap you and then pray for your healing. But you know, God's doing some things. Because you know, that can't always be the answer to everything. So that's my moment of truth. Mm -hmm. And I hope that it blesses you today. How do we troubleshoot the things and the people in our lives? If we don't have the answer, we give them to God to resolve. Bye.